What's up, Capricorn? My name is Lisa. This is your monthly, you and your person uh, reading. It's for whenever you are seeing this. Yeah. I feel like this is the energy, a mutual energy. Okay. I feel like, yeah, look, heartache. I was just about to say there's like this, I feel like there's distance between you and your person. Um, I feel like there's a big decision taking place. Like it's like a big, huge transition in your life. It's like, um, it's like going from like married to single or single to married or yeah. See, this is the beginning and it's King of Swords. It's like, you're trying to make the most logical decisions. Like, I feel like you're trying to, um, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but, um, you're learning to speak your truth here, Capricorn. Okay. But I feel like you're having a hard time with it. Um, look, I, I just want to show you that you are definitely supported by your ancestors. This is them like walking, watching, watching over you, surrounding you. Um, I, I feel like whatever it is that you have to say or whatever decision that you have to make, it's like, it's not easy. There's something that you have to tell. There's some truth that you have to tell it could involve a baby. Something about Halloween. Somebody else got Halloween. Something happened around Halloween. No, that was Christmas. The forest was Christmas. No, actually, I think. Who did I do first? Virgo. Now I don't remember. All right, so. Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This is your monthly for whenever you watch this. You and your person. All right, give me one card for Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Where is Capricorn currently? Five of Swords. Defeat. This is the frustration. See, I feel like you're making a choice between like two worlds. It's like going from like this dull, uneventful, dreary, like same old mundane, or you could choose this, like to create, like, so you see how she's painting it? So it's like, Yeah, this is defeat. There's just like this level of frustration here. I also feel like you're doing a lot of work, Capricorn. Like you feel overworked. You're frustrated with all the work that you're doing. What's at the bottom? Yeah, see? Injustice. I, I said injustice, but this is like... Uh, justice, it says equality, all right? But this is how I feel. Like, you feel like you, there's some sort of injustice here. I feel like you're, you're like working hard. You're not satisfied with the outcome. Also, I feel like some of you have been like trying to manifest something and it's just not coming about. There's this, like, look at these two. Like, this one is, like, somebody here is, like, green with envy, and the other one is just, like, got their crown. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Like, I feel like you're being overlooked, Capricorn. I feel like you're you're doing your best, and, like, it's like nobody's paying attention. It's like the only thing they're paying attention to is like what you're not doing or possibly like, like you see how she's painting. It's like where, where your paint dripped. They're not noticing like how beautiful the roses look now that you painted them. It's like, no, it's like, did you see that you dripped on the sidewalk back there? It's like this level of frustration here. All right. All right. This is a card for your person. All right. So. I 
I actually feel like this is more for you. I didn't ask for anything. So look, see, here's this two of pentacles and flexibility. I'm actually just going to put this card back and ask for a card for your person. I just, you just seem very tired, Capricorn. All right. I feel like you're possibly working like two jobs or let's see. Give me, give me one card for Capricorn's person. Yeah. Three of pentacles. Mastership. So this person could be in school. Um, Learning something new. Oh, there's this ending. No longer wanting to work on something. Finality. So your person could have just ended something here. All right, give me one card for the connection currently. Seven of Swords. Oh, my God. All right, so I don't know what's going on with between you and your person, but, like, I feel like it's not very happy, okay? I feel like it's a lot. Let's see. I want to get um, clarifiers. Look, yeah, see, judgment and opportunity here. Yeah, there's a choice. And see, again, she has this paintbrush. So it's like manifesting. It's like, I feel like you both understand that you don't have to be living the life that you're living. So it's like, I, but I don't know that you're really necessarily talking about this. Like, maybe it's like, it should be like a, it just, it just seems like change. Yeah, see, look, and here's this Ace of Wands again. But the frog is here and like frogs are about like they come around to help you make decision and because there's a choice here. I'm very curious about what this. Okay, let's see. Five of swords. Clarify this five of swords. This is conflict. I'm hearing mundane. Yeah, see six of wands and the devil. Okay, so this is like like cockiness. Okay. This is, I'm getting just like, um, yeah, the chariot and the tower. It's like some sort of control here. Like I feel like somebody feels very controlled. Let me see. Clarify this devil energy. Two of cups. Within some sort of connect. Yeah, this is the four of wands. <sighs> I mean, like, that's a marriage. Okay, the four of wands is a marriage card. The, the stability card. But look at this. This is like a wreck, okay? So I feel like it's just like... And you see the difference in the plates. It's like, I feel like there's a lot of um, imbalance in this connection here. And I feel like somebody's like over it. Like one person feels like they're doing all the work. Clarify this devil energy. Yeah, Eight of Cups and King of Cups. See, somebody, um, it showed itself to me in reverse. So that's like a return. Okay, so coming back. But it's like the Eight of Cups is about walking away from a situation that's like, 
um, just unfulfilling. And that's really the energy that I'm getting off of this person over here is just this unfulfilling. And you see, it's like this person is like keeping, it's like, I feel like you're hiding how you truly feel. All right, give me one card for this. For Capricorn's person. Jesus, the hanged man. And the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person feels suspended and stuck. And look, here's this uh, strength card. I feel like this person is holding themselves back. Okay, from the Eight of Wands is also communication. This is also like things happen happening quickly. And I just like saw this T and I was like, I thought Titans. I don't know. This, this, this energy just feels very like blah. Like, and I feel like you're both kind of, um, let me see. What is this hanged man? Five of ha hazard. See, this person, there could be some money issues too tied into this, but I feel like this person feels just like left out. Like this person feels depleted as well. Like this just does not feel like, I feel like neither one of you is satisfied with the way that this connection is going. The two of cups here tells me that there's like a deep connection here. All right. That you guys are like soulmates, partnerships. This could also be something that you're dealing with at work here. Okay, like there's some sort of off balance at work, like you're doing all the crappy work and somebody else is like doing all the fun stuff or, you know, like getting to travel and like, and it's like you're doing all the, like the crummy work. Here's the sun here. Okay, so it's coming out into the open, whatever hasn't been discussed, whatever's been hidden is coming out into the open, whatever's been denied because it feels like it's been suppressed. Remember that king of cups, like under the water, and it's like all it's showing is his eyes. What is this? Where's this connection? Give me one card for the connection. Dang. And the king of cups can really hide his emotions, okay? Like someone's keeping it really level. You both are. But I feel like if you really talked about this, like you would both be like, if you could be very honest with each other, you would understand that you're both feeling the same exact way about this situation. Here's the judgment. And I feel like the judgment here is like, do we continue on as is, or are we going to discuss the situation? Somebody has to make the first move here. Okay. I feel like <sighs> yeah. This could be a situation where you may have walked away at one point and you've come back to it, but it's just like, I feel like now, like after this time around, it's like, you both know that like, this is like going nowhere. Like, let's see what the romance cards are. All right. Because it, it the energy just feels very heavy. I, I, it feels exhausting for both of you. All right. Give me one card for... I have you over here, Capricorn. Give me one card for Capricorn. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, Capricorn, you might have somebody else on your mind here. 
Group Reconciliation. So maybe you're trying to decide whether or not you want to return to the situation. Let me see. Give me one more card here for Capricorn. Oh, Tree Lord. Okay. So I feel like um, you may be deciding whether or not to stay in the situation where you are. Okay. Because there, I feel like there's one situation that's like totally off balance. But for there's uh, there's another one. It's like somebody's trying to decide: do they walk away from this connection? and head towards their true love here. Or do they come back and try and make this situation work? Even though I feel like both these people know that it's dead. Let me see, what is this person, what is Capricorn's person feeling? Yeah, see, this person wants to give it another chance. Yeah. This person like wants to get married. This person like wants to save the marriage. And I feel like one of you, but I don't know why, like, because I don't feel like this person is, is happy either. I feel like this person feels stuck in this situation as well, but I feel like they are more apt to work on it. <sighs> Let me see. Give me one more card here. Yeah, separation. Okay, so I do feel like you guys are separated, or at least there's a distance between the two of you as far as, like, if you live under the same roof, it's like, um... It's just not the same. Like, I feel like the love is gone, and I feel like that's what's, like, you both feel that, like you both feel the deadness of the situation, like it needs to be spruced back up, like it just, it just doesn't feel real. And I feel like both of you know that, both of you are recognizing this, but neither one of you is talking about it. And I feel like one person is like trying to work on it anyway, just because like you're married and the other person is like in love with somebody else. I don't know. Let me see. Tell me about this. Yeah, this person's just trying to stay in the moment and be in the day. And let me see. Give me one card for the connection currently. Your religious factors. So I do feel like you're married to this person. Yeah, see, look, new love. All right. So for some of you, I feel like there is an opportunity here to rekindle this situation if you if you want to. But I feel the thing, the thing here is like one of these people is your soulmate and the other person that you're thinking about is your twin flame. And that's why like, it's like, dang, dude, this is, this is what this judgment's about. Look, okay. So then we have temperance, which is the divine timing. And here's the magician. Okay, which is about the creating because I definitely feel like somebody's been trying to manifest like something and it hasn't been happening, but it's like I feel like it's been on pause or it hasn't happened for a specific reason because there's some sort of lesson going down here between the two of you. But this is I, I just heard speak your truth. All right, give me some uh advice here for Capricorn. The answers are within. Definitely do some meditation and ground. Look, see, transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Yeah, because honestly, honestly, Capricorn, I don't feel like either one of you is very happy here. Okay. The transformation card is coming out because I do feel like for some of you, you are going to um, transform this connection. 
But for some of you, it's like the transformation is that you decide to go separate ways so that you guys can both be with like who you're really supposed to look. And this is go slow, take your time. Like you don't have to rush into this um, decision. Yeah, clear the past, heal the present. All right, so. There is some sort of reconciliation happening here, okay? But this, there is some sort of healing happening. Impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. And I feel like that is due to the fact that both of you here, Capricorn, need to focus on what's good for your own healing rather than thinking about what the other person wants or what everybody else wants or... Um, it's really focus on what's best for self. And I feel like both of you need to do this because that's the only way it's like, I feel like I'm even hearing separate lives. Like, it's like, you guys need to have separate lives. Like, I feel like, um, this connection is very enmeshed, even though like, I don't know, it feels dead at the same time. So for some of you, like this whole pause and this introspection is going to respark. Okay, this this connection and for others of you, it's like you're both going to be like, you know what? I'm not happy. And the other person's like, you know what? I'm not happy either. And then like you talk about it and it's like. For some of you, it's going to heal the connection and for others of you, it's going to heal the connection to a place where like. um, you, you part ways, but not like out of anger or anything like that. It's like you do it because, um, you want your person to be happy and your person wants you to be happy. And you guys understand that you both deserve new love. Look, it, it feels, it's like it's split right down the middle here. Okay. So some of you, it's like, you're still going to have love for each other, but you're going to go, go separate ways. Like you'll be friends, you know, and others of you, this being honest about how you really feel is what's going to shift, uh, your connection because there's something, there's like a false, I'm hearing false start, or there's like, there's something about this relationship where it's like, neither one of you is really, really being who you truly are with each other even though that's your person, it's like, it's like you're married to this person or you're in some deep connection because the, the, who I, whoever I'm reading for, it feels like you guys are in some sort of commitment already. And it's like, that's the, if you can't be honest about who you are with that person, it's like, you know, you, the, and this is what I feel is, is the, is the, the judgment. It's like, it's about being real with each other about where you are and where you stand and what you want and, um, being a team. And if you can't be that way with each other, then it's like acknowledging that you want that for your other person and setting each other free to go do that. Oh God. So many of these were like so heavy this month. Like th this is a period of huge change though. This week is going to be big. There's going to be like clarity coming in for everybody. And it's like, um, you know, for some, it's just like what I said here for you, Capricorn, it's like this truth, this clarity is coming and It's like, it's, it's, it's either going to be like amazing for you. Like, I feel like either way it's good for you, but, but, um, one way hurts less than the other. Like one comes with heartache, like one truth comes with heartache, but it pr propels you forward to the path that you need to be on. And the other, other, um, is like this, you know, it's like the impossible happening. Okay. Which is exactly how your reading feels Capricorn. So that's why you have to go slow. Okay. Take your time. The answers are within, but it's definitely saying clear the past to heal the present. And I feel like that's like, your past, like childhood trauma issues. Okay. Because I feel like that's like the disconnect here. It's like, that's the block. That's the holdup of like, why you're not even being not, why you're not communicating with each other right now. 
Yeah, see, some of you are going to go on a um, trip and it's going to rekindle your love and that's that's it. That might be what you need. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I don't know what the next holiday is, but Valentine's Day. So there you go, Capricorn. If you guys are interested in personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Have an awesome day. Bye.